Um, what I'm about to tell you right now is, you know, I don't want to put out any government names, any aliases, and no like that. This is my story. I'm not trying to disrespect anyone. I'm not trying to put anybody, anyone's business out there like that. I just want to tell my experience, what I went through as a new hobby. Um, I want to let you know that I do believe that not all bookstores were like my bookstore and I went through, but I can tell you that I have taught the other Nuwabians and ex Nuwabians and our stories are so similar. So, so similar. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't want to disrespect anyone, but I'm going to tell my story and I'm going to be raw. So, it's going to be some cursing, it's going to be this and that or whatever have you. So, if you ain't into that, I suggest that you tune it off. Other than that, let's go. So, um, I became a Nuwabian in 93. You know, um, I went to this uh, HBCU college and I saw a dude that had a table posted up right in front of the cafeteria and he was, you know, really just dropping knowledge, you know what I'm saying? And, and the, the, the shit that he, that, I, that, that he spoke of, I never heard before. I never heard of the ancient Sumerians. I never heard of the Anunnaki's and, and the Elohim and, and uh, I knew the most high. And Egypt, the Egyptians and, and how the Egyptians are tied into the ancient Sumerians. I never heard about that shit. And then he started talking about spaceships and, you know, <laughs> shams and planets. And it's just, it was just very intriguing coming from a young black man that had no father figure at home. Um, that basically was searching for himself. You know, at that point in time, I was um, reading um, books like Low Behold, Behold, A Pale Horse, written by William Cooper, uh, the autobiography of Malcolm X, you know, the ISIS papers, all of the type of books where, you know, you're trying to find yourself and you're trying to learn your, your, your culture and your history and all of that. So, um, you know, it, it, it really caught me, you know, it, so he was like, you know, so where you from? And I told him what the city I was from. And he was like, yo, we, we just opened a bookstore down there. You know, you, you, you should go down there and check it out. So I went down there and checked it out. Um, when I walked in, I, <laughs> I met a dude. <laughs> I'm going to call him the W. Now, at that at that time, I was 20, 21 years old. So he had to be 28, 29. I think he was like seven, eight years older than me. Um, so I looked in him, I looked. I looked at him as a brother, an older brother. You see what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I came in, and at that time, they just transitioned. They, they just, the Nuwabians, that is. They just uh, took off the, what, the, the white garbs, and they had on their <laughs> cowboy outfits. <laughs> so they had on some cowboy boots. He had on um, the, the leather jacket with the ruffles that the cowboys be wearing. And I'm, did he have a cowboy hat on? I don't think he had a cowboy hat on. He had some glasses on. It, 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 just imagine a dude that looked like a cowboy with an afro, right? Either he had the afro or he had braids, cornrows. So he's talking all elegantly. And, you know, hi, brother, Rahu Bat, brother. And this and that and so forth. And he's just, he, 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 he got me in a trance, man. Like, he's dropping knowledge. And, and, and he makes me feel so comfortable. Pause. Like, it ain't no gay comfortable. It's like comfortable, like, yo, man. I really want to be a part of this shit. Look at this brother. This brother's shining. He, he got knowledge. And, 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 and I just adored the way that this man uh, formulated his words. And, you know, I, I was like, man, I got I to gotta be a part of this. If this, this organization is going to turn me into him, I want to be a part of it. So, make a long story short, he was like, yo, man, on Sundays we got classes. One to five, you should come through. So, I came through. So, week after week, week, after week, after week I would slowly but surely buy the books and read them. And um, I would come to the classes. And, and the brother, the W, I call him, he um, he really dropped knowledge. You know what I'm saying? He, he would be kicking it from like, sometimes from one to eight. At night, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, um, one day I was walking somewhere and I seen the W on the payphone and I wanted to say something to him, but it seemed like he was upset about something. So he like, yo, really going crazy. And I'm sitting here looking, but he can't see me. I'm sitting here looking. So I walked away and I was like, yo, man, it's something wrong with that dude. Like it's something up. You know what I'm saying? Like shit ain't right. But I didn't take, I didn't take my own advice to walk away. You know what I'm saying? So 
I eventually uh, filled out the application to be a member. You know, they asked all these fuckers, what's your blood type, how much money you got in the bank, your assets, all of that shit. That, you know, you married, you know, who's your who's your mom, your father, all that, all that extra personal information that I never understood why. You understand? So I turned in the application. The next week, I get, you know, the call. Like, I'm, I'm a member. Now, guess what? I get to, to know the ins and outs of what it is to be a new hobby. You see what I'm saying? I'm proud. I'm like, oh, oh my God, right? So then, guess what? The elegant guy, the guy that talks so elegantly, the W, the one that was so passionate and sincere, he sat down and was like, look, <laughs> this is how it goes. You got to turn in, you got to turn in. Uh, for you, it's $100 a week. You got to pay part of the rent the water the light bill and from from one to five on sundays you need to be here every day you need to clock in every day you need to see us in in in, in the morning time before you go out and hustle the w said go see that this other member over here he gonna put you on this other member i call him M margo Margo gave me some oils and incense and they fed me to the wolves. Get your ass out there and start making that goddamn money. So I went out there, you know, every every day selling oils and incense and it got it got it got real bad because you know, of course you can't make money off no oils and incense. So guess what the W did? The W said, yo, listen, you can come work for me. So these the the, the older members, you know, older in age as well as prior to me being there. They sold bootleg movies and shit, and that was where the real money was at. They didn't put me onto that and for some odd reason, right? I guess they thought I was going to up or whatever. So he said, yo, you can come work for me. So he had a spot where he sold, you know, um, bootleg movies, and he had a table set up. So I would go out there, and I would sell the, 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 the movies for him. And, and the, the, the money was pretty good, you know what I'm saying? But it got to the point where I was saying to myself, like, yo, I'm reading a doctrine, and I'm like, yo, man, you know, how can I be a god? Because that's what the doctrine says. You know, you are you are your own god. You are an an uh, Anunnaki, an, an the Elohim. You see what I'm saying? And I and and, and at, at, at that time, you know, it was crazy because I walked away from religion. I walked away from Christianity. But in reality, I didn't walk away from Christianity nor religion. The only thing that I I did was replace the names. So Anu became God. Sanunda, a Tammuz, a Yeshua became Jesus. And Dr. York became <laughs> everything. Melchizedek, uh, 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 all of these names from Planet Riz, man from Planet Riz, all of these names and titles and shit. So I was I was religious back then and and, and I was like, you know, um man, I gotta tell him, man, I don't I don't feel like selling bootleg movies anymore, man. You know, I, I wanna do something else with my life. I wanna be the, the God that I supposed to be. I wanna be what the doctrine says, the one of the hundred and forty-four thousand. So I got the courage to talk to him one day as he's he's dropping me off at the spot. I'm like, yo, man, you know, I read the book, you know, Am I God? And it said in Psalms 82, verse 6, I have said that ye are gods and children of the most high. And my question to you, the W, how can I be a God? If I'm working for you, and this, he did this. I'm not lying. He t he turned around like this. Book. <laughs> you better get out there and get that goddamn money. You broke. We need to get this goddamn money. And he just kept on going on and on and on. And I'm like, yo, are you serious? Like, my mom's never talked to me like that, yo. A nigga the ass street never talked to me like that but that that's who he was he was from Rikers Island he from Jersey you know this two sniff back in the days and shit and he was just real live like that without any alcohol without any drugs and he chewed me the out and yo shit just got worse throughout months like yo it seemed like you know like Nature Boy and all these cult leaders, they 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 all are one and the same. Like we always would have these meetings and he would chew us out and curse us out and all the rest of that shit. I remember one day uh, we had this meeting. I'll call it Show. Show was like, yo man, you know, I'm not doing it a good job as I should be doing. I know I should be doing better. And the W looked at him and said, you know what? 
you just said that. You know how I felt when you just said that? I felt like taking my, because he had a Range Rover. I felt like taking my Range Rover, hitting you with my Range Rover, putting in reverse, putting it in reverse, and rolling over your head and seeing your eyeball slowly pop out of your head. <laughs> And I was like, holy shit. It was just crazy, man. We stayed broke. Show had a hole. As he was teaching, you know, classes on Sunday, he had a hole in his shoes. I remember one time I went and bought a jacket. That was a no-no. And it was just crazy. It was, it was fucking ridiculous. Now, y'all want to hear the stripper part. The stripper part is, you know, this W just loved to be in strip clubs all the time. He loved strippers. He loved whores. He loved prostitutes and all the rest of that shit right and he loved he loved it for some odd reason for us to be involved i remember some of the the, the, the members like including the w they were gangbang chicks facts i remember one time i went to the strip club with them right now this is crazy i went to the strip i went to the strip club it used to happen like every sunday i didn't go all the time right but for some odd reason it was required for us to go <laughs> sometimes right so you know it this Regular Sunday, one through five, one, one to five. This teaching, he passionate, uh, and, and and the members are looking at. Excuse me, the people are looking at him like, oh my God, man, he's so wonderful. And I'm saying in the back of my mind, y'all just don't know what the f we going through as New Orleans, cause y'all ain't members. I wish I wasn't a member. I wish I was standing over there with y'all to sit down, right? So he's teaching one to five, right? So we all go out and eat. Now this is crazy. He he takes us to eat seafood. Now if anybody knows the doctrine. Not the doctrines per se, but there was a hear there was a hearsay around the, uh, the New Albion Nation that if anybody doesn't like seafood, that they're reptilians, because reptilians wouldn't eat their own squid and shit like that, right? So we sitting at the table, and I don't like squid. I don't. It wasn't squid. It was clams. I don't like none of that shit. I like shrimp and fish like that. But I was just eating that shit just for the of it. So people won't say that I'm not. I'm a reptilian. So we're eating and shit like that. The next thing you know, we, we go to the club, right? We in the club, and this starts dancing with one of the broads. And we're like, go, go, the W, the W, the W. And he, he getting hyped. So he's throwing money around and shit like that. And he's like, yo, 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 Langston, you, 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 you know, you, you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm all right. He was like, yo, man, I could give you some money. You just give it back to me later. Now, taking heed, you can't borrow money from him because he's just like, any other mother you borrow some money from him next thing you know you go in debt period i was like nah that's all right that's cool so he was like all right man i just just you know i'll give you a, a couple of ones just to throw throw at the at the broads i was like nah 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 so make a long story short he's dancing with the broad next thing you know he picks the broad up right and we're like go w good and he's like this <laughs> right so he picks the broad up right and he puts her on this kind of like, I don't know what it was. It was kind of like a uh, a table. And he pulls her panties down and all, I was about to eat a pussy. And everybody stopped it. It was like, no, right? So, I'm, we're about to leave, right? He gets this broad. And two of the members, no, one of the members was, was like down with it, gang banging, right? He's like, yo, Langston, you in on it? I'm like, nah, man, you know, I, I don't want no parts of, you know, we supposed to be saving souls. Here I go with this religious shit again. <laughs> and I was like, we supposed to be saving souls. We, you know, we do 144,000, this and that, so forth. He's like, yeah, man, whatever. But, um, hey, listen, man, you ain't in on it. Could you at least tape it? <laughs> he was like, could you at least videotape it? I'm like, nah, man, I ain't doing that shit. So then after that, a couple days later, this was like on a Friday. This happened. He picks me up from the spot. Of, you know, why I would sell, sell a bootleg movies for him, for, um, for him. He's like, yo, you want to come ride with me somewhere? So I'm sitting here saying, damn, I don't want to say yes. And I don't want to say no because I'm predictable. You know what I'm saying? Like he just could bleed just like any other chick every month. Like he got his period and he go be going berserk. So I'm like, all right, man, you know, I, I, I'll go with you. So we go to this hotel and he... A broad comes out butt ass naked. And I'm sitting here like, it's 30 degrees outside. She's like, yo, you want some pussy? I'm like, nah, 
this gets out. He goes in the room, he hits that up, comes back to me and gets in the car. He's like, yo man, Langston, you, 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 you know you. I'm like, nah man, you know I'm good. He's like, all right man, I'm about to go get me. <laughs> I'm about to go get me some more pussy. Yo, I'm not making up, I'm not. Y'all think I am, but I'm not. This is, this shit and, and other members got stories just like mine. Like, it was like, I'm telling you, I'm not lying. Our bookstore, it wasn't about saving souls. It was about strip clubs and money. That's it. Period. I got way more stories to tell. A lot more. This is just the first one. And it gets real, real. You see what I'm saying? And can't nobody tell me my stories are fake. Nobody. And you can't tell me, oh, I'm just a new member. I've been down to the land a few times. I've been down to the land and actually seen Dr. York speak a few times. So you can't tell me I'm some young just sitting here lying. I got more stories. The saga continues. This is Confessions of a Nuwabian, ex nuwabian that is. Like, subscribe, and share the video. One.